All right, so here we go. Thank you again to the devs for providing a code for this. We'll see what this is like. I'm hoping it uh, it ends up being neat. Let's just, uh, let's not touch V-Sync actually, let's just go. Heavy story with horror aspects. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so I wanna say this is gonna be not spooky, but it's more of like a, it's like thriller the word? I don't know what this is. We're gonna, we're gonna see what it's like. Heavy story with horror aspects. Okay, okay. My dear Nicole. Oh no, is there no voice acting? Uh, wait, that's not even the same thing. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Faced with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest of ch uh, toughest challenges is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, Leonard, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. All right, see you, Sam. Thanks for popping in, dude. Oh, I'm controlling this. I'm gonna lower the game sound a bit. I can't, I can't, never mind. Okay. The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke her family apart forever. I imagine exactly I imagine exactly what was going through your head at that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. I don't know if there's gonna be voice acting. I hope there is. Fingernail tech, right? Use a spread button. It's <laughs> a thousand cranes. Uh, that your father had irre irreparably betrayed our trust and that I'm gonna lower it manually here Ugh, mixer uh, And by throwing herself off that cliff Whoa, whoa, sorry and that she had done the sorry betrayed betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff I was there. I've always been there when you Dislocated your shoulder at the first game when you sobbed at night in a, in a room you didn't recognize and when you kissed Duncan Forbes on the Christmas mistletoe in 1985. You marched against abortion in your first year of college. I don't know what this game's gonna be. Uh, Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said it so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation of every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is just a sad game, dude. <laughs> I don't know if this is just a sad game. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past. Uh, once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. Okay. Yeah, again, sad, sad game feels here. The hotel is my family's, and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mrs. Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone. I will already be gone long? Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest of the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, at your wedding, our grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. Dang. Um, I'm wondering, what was that game about like the house that had like all these crazy stories inside of it? I feel like I'm getting vibes of that game in this now. 
What was that called? Something family or like, uh... I don't remember what that was called. I remember it was really good, though. Edith Fitch, yeah. Finch? Finch. The something, what was it called? Something of Edith Finch? Helena National Forest, Montana, U.S. All right, do you guys think this thing has voice acting? Also, 1993. What the remains? Bad That's weather it. crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially really forecast it, yeah. for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. That's are a lot we of snow. Into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County. I'm hoping it's gonna be like that. If this is just a sad game, then I'm sorry. Hopefully, it spooks your feels, your eyes to cry crying. I don't know, man. Might be sad game though. Sad games are still good games though. Ooh, I think we have a 60 Sarah, FPS lock. That's all I remember from the night we departed 10 years ago. Hold on, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Is it because this isn't on? Okay, hold on. We need to do turn sensitivity. Jump this up a little bit here. For once I have to jump it up, that's Actually, you know what? No, I think it's good to where it was. All right, well, the game runs at 50, uh, 60 FPS, so we'll just have to get used to that. Did we skip the, what she was saying? My car. Mom's car. It's so dark in this corner. You know what game I never finished, and this is like, it, it has nothing to do about what this game is about, but look-wise, what was it called? Not Cry Fear, Cry, Cry, it was like a cold boat, I don't know what it was called, Cry, Cryostasis? Okay, I don't know what the buttons are, we're just gonna keep going. Leonard's motorbike, okay, so that's my dad's motorbike, I guess, my mom's car, observe, can I open it? Huh. Can I open this door? Oh, I just click. I don't have to move. I'm used to like, uh, what is it, phasmophobia? The had to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Beyond the mountain museum? There's a museum in the hotel? Oh, hello. That ring just reminds me of control now. Holy shit. What's all this? Climbing axe. Skis. Base equipment and a knife. A pickaxe that's missing. The zoom. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Wait. Oh, here it is. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Wait, what? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Wait, what? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, 
But as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay. So uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Okay. This game's good? Dope, okay. Uh, so where are we right now? We're in offices. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Um... Master Suite. Do you think it's a Master Suite? Oh, management is Master Suite. I'm dumb. It actually, it straight up says it. All right, so from offices, we have to go upstairs, which we can go from the dining room. Um, so we'll go from the dining room. We'll, we'll go out the door to our left or whatever, and then out to the, okay. Yeah, this seems pretty interesting. I'm in for this. Uh, I had one that I used this week, but I don't remember where I got it from. I can try to find it if you want. It won't take me too long. Leonard's Cup, NASA. Yes, please. All right, you guys, give me give me like thirty seconds. Give me like thirty seconds. I have to alt tab real quick. No biggie. No biggie, please. Uh, where's this thing? History. I can just write like uh, zero hour. Is it this? There you go. Found it. Boop, boop, boop. You're doing it right now? This is the puzzle solver you mean for the uh, here. Let me do this. At Gonzo. Uh, eh. There you go. There you go, bud. Boop. Cool. We're back. So, does this door work? No problem, man. Radio. Uh. Everybody hydrate. All right. See, see, see. I went and went, got some more water, dude. Best idea ever. Oh, holy shit. Is that snow all the way up to the window? Jesus. Okay. Storage. Okay. Does that mean we have to go up from offices? Shit. I don't know. Wait, what? Is there a staircase right here? Why the fuck am I facing here? Yeah, okay, so mezzanine. Mezzanine. Oh, can I just turn around and go up? Okay, I'm trying to go up. Never mind. That's why. This reminds me, the way we're picking up objects and stuff reminds me a lot of Gone Home. So I think this is going to be like a Gone Home type thing. Now, I don't know if there's actually going to be spooky stuff, or if it's just going to be Gone Home style, where it's just kind of like a really dope story that we kind of go through. That's a bear. That's a bench. That's a... That was not a bug. Lamb. Ooh, that's a nice picture. I really like that. Okay. Oh, when doors don't work. <laughs> There's like paintings missing. I don't know why they're gone. What was the other walking scene that had spooky vibes, but was kind of a letdown? Someone disappearance or something? Uh, 
I can't remember what the other one was. Disappearance. Uh, Benching of Ethan Carter. I actually kind of like that one. There was like a spooky bit at the end that kind of fucked me up and I didn't like it. But uh, I, I kind of like Benching of Ethan Carter. The spooky bit really didn't have to exist, but... It was like, hey, you learn about this kid thing or whatever, and oh, there's a thing in the fucking caves. You're like, what the hell, dude? What is this about? Spoiler, sorry. Nice bathtub. <laughs> like, it just says at the top. Toothpaste. Koijit. I guess they couldn't do Colgate or... Crest? Koijit. <laughs> That's a weird sound. It feels like you're missing, like, it feels like you're missing a part of the word. Koijit. Man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pumped that she said you really enjoyed, uh, Amnesia. I feel like when I play spooky games like that, though, I need it to be on a controller. So it's just cozier for me. So I'm hoping it feels good on a controller. Do you think there's anything you had to do in that game that was, like, not Twitch reaction, but pretty quick? Okay, hold on. Right now, we're in the master suite. If we go down and go down to the overlook, does it actually let us get there? Quidget. Wait, it's not a door. Hmm. There's a depth of field that this game has. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Like, if I turn, it kind of fades out. It's kind of, it kind of looks nice. Yeah, I played the old Amnesia. I didn't, I didn't really... I played through it. I'd like to say I enjoyed it, but I don't think I, I enjoyed Dark Descent. But I was playing at a time where I was trying to play stuff like Slender, and it was kind of like forcing my way to play through it because I wasn't like in the best mood to get spookered. And I also was really bad at spooky games. And I did some weird stuff like play with people on Skype and all this weird stuff just so I could get through it. What? Hello? What? But they can do head and sh oh, read and boulders. What? Head and shoulders? Reed and boulders? What the fuck? Yeah, we gotta find a whole bunch of silly shit in this, because they apparently can't use any names. Glad is... is... Blad. Nice. Yeah, I played Machine for Pigs. I think, if I remember correctly, Machine for Pigs... Um, was similar to Outlast, and, and at some point I realized that you could take like three hits and survive, and then I started sprinting through most of it wildly. I think it had like regenerating health or something. I can't remember. It was like something about that game broke gameplay wise after a while. Mathematical physics, John Johnson Brown. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read the back of a math book. Tension on the middle. Santa. Aw. I'm definitely getting the vibes of gone home from this. Ooh, what was, what was that space kind of gone home game that was like an AI on a ship? Pa it's like not Panorama, but uh, that game was pretty sick. I, I really liked that one. Essential issue. Uh, that was Outlast 1, I think. Or no, I think it's in 2 as well, I think. I don't know. I, I didn't finish 2. I didn't like 2 at all. I think the gameplay in 2 was honestly fucking really bad. Uh, Lord Benjamin Jenkins, Helena, Sun Law Firm, something, something. I'm just going to forget about that stuff. Montana Cadastral? Property number? Montana Cat Cadastral. Is that the name of this place? Property number. Yeah, okay. Timeline. Timberland. Not timeline. Uh, can I assume? No, I can't. Dear Miss Nicole Wilson, recipient. This is to in inform you that the nominated personal representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership, rights, and responsibility are now attributed to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission. Returning it to me in a correct envelope. If you do not, if I do not receive, receive your reply objection to the proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord it and that there will not be any future problems regarding the owning the property named above. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sally Lair, Lair? Lawyer Benjamin Jenkins. They both have cockney knowledge. <laughs> it's a mark of a really good game. Except for the second one. 
calculations. Hmm. So he liked math, he liked science, or they liked math. Or so I don't know if it's the mom or the dad. I'm guessing it's the dad. They like matches, they like math, they like science. Gotcha. Deadmond. Sick Assassin's Creed joke, dude. Absolute fire. I feel like I've seen this picture a lot. What the hell? Isn't this? It's like a... Or something very similar. My room, my rules, Nicole's room. <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm getting Gone Home vibes from this. That's pretty cool. Let's say little pest pics. <laughs> Stock photo, that's the word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Observe. Stars, nebula, shine across the sky, concentrate through time. Bin. Can't see your smile, honey. Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Rachel doesn't want to do her speech therapy exercises. I heard you, Rachel. You were right behind me. Rachel is sad. Rachel says she feels alone. Love you, Rachel. Oh, these are all poems. There was me. There was you. I was the silence. I'm trying to move it because the font's really weird. You were the light. There was the attorney. I was alone. All turned black. Hmm. No worries, Eddie. Thanks for popping in, dude. Thanks again for the raid. Have yourself a dope night. And, uh, yeah, man. Let me know whenever you got some free time to do some uh, spooky stuff. I just heard pipes empty. Book. Book of spirit communications. Well, this shit just got real. We're done. Oh, no. I'm hearing squeaky sounds. Is this a spooky game? Occult anatomy. Uh-oh. 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 Asteric Buddhism. Oh, nice. Rituals and techniques for life and beyond. Oh. So we're looking for a key. I don't think it's in here. Polaroid. What? Really? I can't look at it? Yo, my bedroom's so clean. Things here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years why is your heartbeat so... doesn't matter quick tour nothing more nicole old friend oh dude the suction cups holy shit yes dude floppy disk dude three and a half inch floppies or whatever victims in the last three days the snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions refrain from going outside unless isolated parts of return at home. Cool. Like how clear that thing is, but how cl not clear this is. Bronze medals. Is that a gold? Those are a gold, huh? I guess she played hockey. Hockey trophy. Okay, yeah. 1981. Dang, dude. Where is... This is going to sound really dumb out loud. I'm from Canada. Okay, chill. Where is Montana? I'm guessing it's towards the north of the United States. The skateboard. It's pink. It's dope. VHS tapes. Yo, yeah, we're, we're living some... Uh, oh, what's this? Summer 85. It's all the same ones. Binoculars. Mixtapes. Oh, man. Hell yeah, this dude. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. I feel like I remember uh, making a mixtape for myself of a bunch of Blink-182 songs. 
like I, I recorded it off like a CD player to a tape deck thing because when I was going to school in my school bus because uh, I'm out in the country there were so many bumps that CD players skipped so much but tape decks were dope Northwest North West Northwest nice pretty cool it's a pretty cool room I like uh, I kind of like this a lot I think I'd be terrified as a kid to have a, like a shelving unit above my head as I slept but I really like the idea of having like a cozy bed inside something Gen X it's Northwest I don't actually okay what is, what is Gen X or Gen like Gen Z Gen X I don't know oh hello Strange telephone. Yeah, that's a fucking. Is this a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh. I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, yeah. enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I, I you. I Bye. Oh, we're keeping that. Okay. Sick portable phone. Do any of you guys still have landlines? I feel like I don't really know anybody who has a landline phone anymore. I mean, obviously, if you're a business, sure. But. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. A fucking spooky game? What's this din coming from the overlook? Oh, jeez. Please don't be a spooky game. But kind of also somewhat, please. The fact that there's a closet here with nothing in it makes me spook for some reason. Like that feels like a hidey zone. Overlook. Hello? Hey, y you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was well, sturdy... That's what I'm hearing. Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, w uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, mm, No. No, I was thinking of jogging into town. Oh. Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead with... 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. 
As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man. To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! <laughs> yeah, I, was thinking, I was hearing the game what twice. Oh. I have a 1986 Dodge. Um, because this game loaded up in like half VR at the same time, it's like playing through the VR headset next to my computer. And I was like, why, why the fuck am I hearing the game twice? I don't know why it's loading up in VR, but whatever. I know it is definitely not a VR game. Uh, take back the car and get away from here before the storm arrives. All right. Yeah, he said if you're under 12 inches of snow. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Where am I headed to right now? Oh, it's just the dining room area. Is that like a notoriously bad car or something? The Dodge 1985? Hey, Maya. I know I keep saying it, but I really hope this isn't a spooky game. <laughs> oh, Maya. Okay, hey. Hearing me a little bit here. Loud ass sound. A little cutie. I guess this is for hand wash only. And the 1980s are kind of jank. Ah, okay, okay. Moldy food. Oh. I guess they only had pumpkin and red. Where am I going? Kitchen. I think I should probably loop back around to the mezzanine. I think I'm going the complete wrong direction. What the fuck is this? It's a basement? Oh, this leads me to the garage anyway. Is this a fucking spooky game, dude? I don't know, man. I can't crouch. I can't really run. Workbench, uh-oh. I'm in the boiler room, okay, cool. We're almost at the garage. Welcome. So we're leaving. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone. <sighs> uh, no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones that's what they call them uh, radio doesn't reach out there i bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave hey, no sequencer way. it's like a two-way radio station that's always open oh, this place <laughs> i vowed to never come back listen i might only be a voice but remember i'm here for you if you need me just call seriously oh fine 
This is a, this is a, like, I'm getting, like, Gone Home vibes. I'm getting, um, Firewatch vibes. This is kind of neat. What's up, guy? How's it going, man? Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, it's kind of neat. I, I kind of like it. I have to open the garage door. I hope it's working. Jeez, this is a terrible idea. Even I'm against this. I think that's making me do it. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Hey, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Dude, Firewatch is really good. I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so Firewatch is kind of like this. Uh, Firewatch, you talk to somebody on a, like a radio, walkie-talkie, and you kind of get like choices like that and, and stuff. Um, Firewatch is really, really good. I, I don't want to say too much about it because that's, that's a really, really good game. To-do list, okay, we don't have a to-do list. anything useful no no keys no garage door I can't get out of here without freezing Christ it's probably only for a night uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow they might uh, look I'll be on duty all day call me when you want even just to talk okay oh thanks Irving just doing my job Nicole yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they announced okay. Firewatch 2. There was like another game that they made advice. and Valve bought them and then I think they cancelled it. You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Yeah, Valve bought them and I think it was like some sort of like desert I can't believe exploring it. type looking I'm thing stuck. that was like Firewatchy. Shit. I think they cancelled it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's oh, okay. Multiple days. Desert watch. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a uh, good water. start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. I like the, the vibe of this game. I know she seems a little bit kind of... angry, but... I like it. So it says to find the power st stuff. Electric room. So that's back in the garage. Why don't we use this bed? Yo, this is way bigger and there's like less crap on it. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. Don't say spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. 
Never. Furnace is boiler room is yeah. probably with the furnace. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> bean. Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Okay, so we don't need the electrical room yet. Okay. Back to the boiler room. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghosts to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well... That's long gone. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like... 220? Oh. I don't Wait, like what? the sound No, it's opposite. Ooh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Weird. Is that helping, or...? There you go. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. <laughs> okay. So... Now we're headed to... Restrooms? I guess? Wait, did it have a thingy? No, just to-do list is nothing. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. I don't know what FEMA is, There's though. There's lots What's of FEMA? other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. So, we're just going to sleep, then? Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey. Listen, I just wanted to say... It's so weird. Like, they don't talk for like 30 seconds and it sounds like it's obnoxious. way longer. No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it. I'm beat and I'm rambling. No, no. I, from the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel and all that rush, well... Right. Federal Emergency Management Agency. Oh, okay. Wilsonian mythology. 
Oh, okay. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know. Ultimately, uh, at least. Thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. <laughs> so I owe Jeez. you my life then. Wow. It's just your job. I know. Night. Night. I like this though. Like the dialogue. Like sure, she can be. She was started off as a little bit obnoxious or whatever, but. The way the dialogue's written, I could just listen to this. This is, this is this is decent. I like this. Can I sleep or oh base? We're seeing more than a hand now. Oh. Okay. The uh, not the timing, but the uh, pacing is a little bit weird. Calm down a bit. It's still windy, but at least it's not snowing. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. So, any news? Th they spelled comfy with a U. Uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut eye last night and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. Yeah, I know, right, Linker? In theory. Uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat first. Then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. All right, pantry. Guessing that's the kitchen? That's where we were? If we're here in the dining room, we literally just go to the back hall and then... Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Uh-huh. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the <laughs> trash. I had an ant farm also. An entomologist nipped in the bud. Looked super cool. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Molden tomato? Is molden... Is that... Molden. Is that actually a word? <laughs> Thing that has molded? Oh, geez. It's cold in here. Ah, beans. Mug a lunch, dude. My favorite. Beam soup. A oh, bean soup. 
Muddy Joe's condensed chicken no. Mug of lunch, dude. Um Achievement unlocked freeze to death? Wait, what the fuck? Hey. You kidding? Wait, 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 what the fuck? forgot there might be a problem with the fridge door just make sure it doesn't are you close. fucking with me no wait what did i say it would have been more useful to know that before i got locked in oh holy shit i'm a freaking space cadet yeah i could have died in there i didn't like that at all okay the microwave should be useful to heat the beans all right we'll go back to the kitchen Uh, is there a microwave? Are these are microwaves? Microwave. Wow, these are some old as shit microwaves. Mug of lunch. I don't think you're supposed to put the whole can in. This is how I dive, so. She didn't even like open the can, dude. Like she put metal in there and it's not open. Like, that's a fucking bomb, <laughs> right? That is a bomb, right? Yeah, what the fuck? And she grabbed it with her hand. She's a baller, dude. Absolute baller, shock collar. Mmm, how's that mug of lunch, dude? Oh, I guess it was cardboard? Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. I'm just going to hole up in my room and cry, if that's okay with you. I can't imagine that. He asked me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Okay. like cardboard yeah probably as freezer burn as that whole place looked holy shit so this is the first floor there's one more floor up this is where no we're first floor uh so we're in the overlook we go and we go back to the main staircase. Okay. I wish there was a cursor on screen and I also got the map so I could like kind of point out where I'm going, but trust me on this, y'all. Why do I have so much time to stream now? What do you mean? I'm streaming at my norm my norm ah, my normal hours. My normal normal. Can't speak good. Uh, 
but uh, I am off from work from now anyway. Oh, report. Oh, yeah. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been off from work for a bit. For, uh... For, uh, yeah, a good chunk of time. So I've been getting a lot more sleep and stuff, so I haven't been taking as many days off from streaming. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually use any of these doors. Staff only. Yeah, I was having a rough go with work, so I was definitely taking weeks off most of the time. Oh, sealed door. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the <laughs> hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. <laughs> what do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? Oops, I don't I meant know. To say that I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I. I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Hmm. Okay. Look at the map. Uh, the attic's in that direction. Or something? No, it's just overlaid. Uh, I guess we can head towards the museum side? Oh, what's this? Construction cost estimate worksheet canceled for it was n almost a million dollars to redo this holy fuck i feel like a million dollars even in the 90s was probably a shit ton wait did it have a year on it still in the night oh wait what the fuck was that sound room check Problems with electronics, heating, stink, and noise with the walls. That's enough is enough. I can't actually read that. It's like too far or something. I can't zoom it in. What was that sound? Did you guys hear it? It was like a... What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm done with this floor, dude. I'll keep that open so I know I've been there. Don't be a spooky game. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is oh, this? Oh, no. Don't do anything stupid. You're going to pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone. I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm going to get them to call the sheriff. Okay. So Rachel might still be here. But, hmm. I mean, we know the title of the game, right? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this might be a dark or sad game here. You pissed at me? 
I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. I think I get it, almost. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, I thought I heard something move behind me. Two families that everyone looked up to, yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, a spooky genius game? astrophysicist, and Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why that scared me. Oh, my God. I don't know why this is like... I'm on edge now, because I don't know if there's going to be spookies. Interesting game, though. I do like it. Was it nighttime? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, I'll tell Daddy? Uh, Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Must have been sleeping pills and those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. Oh, what geez. do I have to do? Yeah, I don't like uh, those. Check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Polaroid, don't tell me I have to use this. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. I hate this. Oh, smart. You can try. I hate this. I had one just like this when I was 16. Leonard gave it to me. Maybe it's the same one. No way. I broke mine hiking on Hogback Mountain. I cried all day with Leonard insisting it was only an instrument used to capture images. He said, you keep the really important ones inside. Can't say he was wrong. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Wait, what just made that sound? So wait, where are we supposed to go? He said the crawl space? Wait, I can't pull out my map? Where's the crawl space? Crawlspace in the first floor staff area. So, if that's the first floor, what 
Where's the staff area? My stomach just did a sound. First floor staff area. Um. See you, Linker. Have a good night, man. I can still kind of see anyways. Okay. So I'm not, that's not the staff area. There's no door there. Do I have to keep going through towards the museum? I don't know, dudes. Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Okay, I'm in the wrong spot, I think. Dust maybe? Brunson! Oh, I'm back at this place. Okay, I don't know... I think it was over here, but... Crawl space door? Okay. Oh, flashlight. Plateau. Can't, can't? Caught. Okay, I don't know what this is. I found is. the crawl space, and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse, but the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. That's pretty good. What's wrong? I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay, easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Easy. Does it. Why can't I use it? Weird, I would have to be like in a certain spot. Made in Germany. Okay, cool. 
Lipstick. Red doll. So I think we're all good now. Do I have to go back? Wait, what the fuck? How do I leave? Oh. No, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? <laughs> are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well, yeah. You're probably right. Oh, geez, okay. Day four. It's falling under the bed. I, I, we used to have like a, not like a drain pipe, but kind of a drain pipe in our driveway. So we had a really long driveway in the, in the countryside thing, and I used to crawl through it when I was a kid for some reason. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sort of. <sighs> you forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. <laughs> I, Culver? Talk to uh, I don't know. Something. It was like, um, um, maybe like okay. just one of those like metal pipes that's just underneath. It doesn't really go anywhere. It just feeds from one side of the, the ditch to the other ditch, I guess. Is it in the game? What the fuck was that? Is it this? What was that? All right, in Rachel's story, I have to investigate the clues in Leonard's room and shed light. So Leonard's room. Culver, let's click on this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much one of those. I never actually heard the word before. That's cool. Thanks. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to... No, they're losing it. sleep. No, typo. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. Haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. 
All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Uh. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole. That's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Hmm. A young old girl from Great Falls claimed she saw Rachel Foster, her schoolmate, suicidal in 1981 in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberlin Line Hotel. But she ran away without saying anything. Glenda revealed to the Daily Reporters and that she tried to approach her, but she went away. She also added, I don't know how it's possible, but it was definitely Rachel. This is just this is just the last episode of that most famous love and death story in County. Rachel committed suicide after her affair with Leonard McGrath, 30 years older than the teenager. Is exposed to the public. We tried to speak to Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says that the young girl's still alive. Creepy. Keep, keep follow our monthly update to find out more about the story and more. Hmm. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. What does that mean? You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. <laughs> his daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Hmm. Which blows my gosh, shit. <laughs> Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. <laughs> it doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipstick smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Anything else? Hmm. Sam's got my attention now, for sure. I know we're not going to hey, finish this night, so I'm probably going to stop soon. But Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, is, but it's got notes written This in is it. doing some Firewatch Did shit. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or, Rachel is sad. Or, Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, 
I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course. There's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay. I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Where does that come from? Follow it to the T? It? Like, is it... I don't get it. It always sounded weird to me. Um. Hmm. I wonder how long this game is. I think I think I might stop now-ish. Oh wait, hold on. Nope, we got shit going on. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Was that the mouth Say guard again, thing? Please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Wait, did it? Did we just dream a whole day away? Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, hmm. wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? This I'm phasmophobia, not sure, dudes. but uh, uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, dude, if Fastest Phobia had a level that looked like this, that'd be dope. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. 
Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? Barton? It's getting off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me. Holy shit. There it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Yes. I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck. I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep. The tape's damaged. Too damp. Too damp, too well, dank, dude. I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. <laughs> what happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. All right, I kind of want to stop now before we get into too much crazy shit. Um, yeah, I know, right? I was going to say Spartan 117, dude. What the heck? I'm going to go in there. He's going to be like, we're finishing the fight and then shoot ghosts for the rest of the night. Um, oh, everything loads in when I walk just slightly away. Uh, honestly, this game is really dope. Um, so... Tomorrow, I know I want to check out some GTFO. I'm going to stop this here, though. Uh, I'm going to check how long it is, because if, uh, if it's not that long, um, maybe not tomorrow because we're doing GTFO, or maybe after GTFO, I don't know. Uh, I want to try to finish this up. This seems really cool. It's, it's reminding me so much of Firewatch and so much of Gone Home, and it, it's really neat so far. The characters are growing on me. I think at first, um, what's her name? It's not Claire. It's not Rachel. Nicole, Nicole was kind of, was, was a little bit not so great to listen to, but she's, she's, her lines are getting better. She's, she's less, uh, angry all the time, I guess. I don't know, maybe that sounds mean to say, but I just want to make sure it's going to save me at the same spot, just so we know what's going on. Is it going to count as a new day, or is it going to put me right where I was? Day six. Okay, so I have to restart the day if I do that. Not terrible. Unless it's just doing day six and I'm going to be standing where I was. Nope. Okay. My bad, dudes. Oh, no. The talk didn't happen. Oh, no. Here we go. Morning. Am I interrupting? All right. So we'll continue that tomorrow. Still talking as I'm quitting? Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It, uh, you know, the game's pretty dope. The game's pretty dope. There are nine days until. Wait, nine days until. Oh, nine, nine days in this? So it's not long? Okay, cool. So we'll finish this next time, for sure. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool.